Crafters. Well, welcome back to my channel, Margaret Knob Designs. I am coming today with a collaboration called uh, Smasher Stash. And uh, this month it was finishing up a project, finishing a pad, finishing something up. So um, I had this Graphic 45 uh, 8x8 pad that um, I believe I did in the last um, Smasher Stash where or I did it for something else. I'm not really sure where we were so supposed to be using ribbon or something like that. So I had done the six cards from the Graphic 45 tutorial. They were six by six cards. And um, I really wanted to use up this paper pad. Well, I thought to myself that you know, I'm not gonna do six by six cards again, but I wanted to do just regular cards. So let me show you what I've made and um, in some of my thought process real quick and so that you can uh, see what I've done well at the end of at the end of my card making um, I had strips left over that were like this size and um, these are left because there is color on the back but there's nothing I can use uh, perfectly on the front so I decided that I would take these kinds of strips and cut this two and a half, two and a half, and then this end was three, and um, then I cut that in half. So, um, and the reason for doing this was because I overthink when I'm making cards, and I decided that my perfectionist tendencies need to go away in order for me to finish up this uh, paper pad, because I got about 18 or 19 cards with still leftovers, and um, these ones actually aren't even fully done, but um, I wanted to include them and add them and let you see kind of what I did. So these cards in this pile are from any of my scripts, uh, strips that are left over like this. And um, the only ones that I didn't use up like this, and just real quick, um, the strips like this, what happened is, is because I did another set of cards where I had four or five sheets of eight by eight left. And what I did with those is I just cut them in, cut them in eight inches. Um, I'm sorry, I cut them to 5.25 or five and a quarter and by four. So I got two card bases out of each one of those sheets, and this was the cutoff. And so what I did with the cutoff then is I cut it like I said before, and this is what they turned out like. This is one of them, and I put some strips in the inside, but I still need to do like a sentiment or some kind of focal point on here, and then I will be done. I do have one of my cards done that has a focal point on it. Let me see, okay. I did another card earlier or previously like this that is similar to what those cutoffs were. Um, I ended up using a different uh, solid rather than the back of this one, but you can see how I added two uh, flowers on it and just a, a sentiment and then inside I put a, a piece in there. So that's kind of what I want to do with these cards. And so I took this one and these are all the strip with um, the back side of those strips. And um, I tried to get something. Nope, I don't have anything inside that one. And here is another one. Some are side folding, some are top folding. They're just a mixture, depending upon what cards, uh, cards I had ready. So this is a really simple design and really the... Um, the strip itself was uh, three inches. Three inches? No, that's wrong. That was um, probably two and a half. Just two and five eighths is probably what that is because that's what the cutoff was. So, because if it's five, uh, five and a quarter, uh, it would be five, two point two and three quarters, that's what it would be. So it just all fit really well, as long as I fit them tight together. And then here's one of the Christmas ones. And again, these aren't embellished yet or no sentiments on those. But I thought that they turned out pretty nice. I liked the way um, everything worked together and the designs were great. And then the cutoffs, um, that I did where I did the the basic uh, mats on them 
Um, part of this all stems from the fact that I like to do a little bit more of a fussy card, but sometimes I have to get out of my head and just do it. So I had um, those sheets of paper. I also had these sentiments that I had printed out on my printer. They weren't quite right. I wanted them a little bit smaller, but I decided, again, I just need to use them up. So on top of that, I also used up um, a whole page of these um, gems, uh, and then I also used up those white flowers. I had a few of those left for, that was on the other card. I finished up those as well. So these are the um, cards that I used that I made just a basic mat. And I just added the gems on there where I thought that they were they would look good. And I may come back, some of them have strips, some of them don't. Um, and I'll come back and put strips inside. Some of those that don't. Maybe it was just the first one that doesn't. Oh, those were the Christmas ones don't. So they're very simple and um, I think that they are just fine for thank you cards or thinking of you cards and just a quick note to someone. Because sometimes as card makers and album makers, paper crafters, we want to do a lot to our cards. But, um, you know, what I've found is a lot of times, unless you're a crafter, they don't really cherish the cards as much as we cherish them. And uh, most of them just end up tossing them at some points. So now these are the first cards that I started doing. And this was probably like not that they're that extensive or anything, but it took me probably about two hours to get these done, which is, I know it may seem like a long time, but um, you know when you're thinking about what you want to do and making it up uh, kind of along the way, it takes a little bit. So this is um, one of them with a strip in the inside, and I used any matching patterns. This is a, another one with three strips of the... the um, cut off and then one of the cards and some of the ephemera and then I took the ephemera little postage stamps I thought they looked really cute and then I did the same thing on this card with the three strips and you know piece of the pattern paper from the other side just pop this up pop those up some little gems on there and then just some of the postage stamps on the inside and then we've got this final one. This was one that I um, tried a different, something different. This is the basic cutoff. And then I took a, a, the other half of it and cut it into three strips and um, layered that up and with the stamps and everything. And then just a little celebrate on the inside. So that's what I have accomplished this month. And um, three different, you know, you know, three different stacks because of the different kinds of cards that I've made. But um, I thank you so very much for um, joining me for this uh, collaboration. And if you'd like to join along, um, this is hosted by Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts. And just use our, our hashtag, smash your, smash your stash, and uh, come and play along with us for this month. Love to see what you have to, what you are thinking about making or smashing. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.